Let's begin by opening up pages. Here we go. Opening up additional and selecting background. Now there's nothing in it yet. So I have my input panel up here and that's where I like it. I'm in structure. I'm going to click this button right here to make a div. I'm going to call it square. Not because I'm square, but the div is going to be square. Click OK. Now let's go down to CSS Designer. Pull it out so we can get both sides. Click the plus sign and tell you what, attach an existing. We're going to use one we already have. Browse. CSS. Let's use, actually anyone would do, let's use boxes. Click OK. Now nothing has changed, obviously, because there are no IDs that relate to the word square. So let's say for the sake of argument that we wish we had one related to square and it used to be box over here. What do we do? Well, if we change the CSS over here to square, then it won't work in any of the other documents we have. But if we come over to split and change the word square here, now remember it is case sensitive to lowercase box, it'll use it. So we got our square kind of down and dirty and quick. Let's go back to design. Let's talk about backgrounds. Let's talk about what we can do to this area here, or actually in here if you want to. A background can be a color, it can be a gradient, or it can be an image. It's up to you. I want to add it into boxes for this reason. The background that I want to use in here, I want it on all of my pages that use the CSS source called boxes. That means something though. If I go into split view, that means literally redefining the body tag right here. Can we do that? Yes. Go back to design so we can see what we're doing here. Come over here. Now we have boxes CSS. We have box and in a box. Click the plus sign. No full stop, period. No hashtag, no nothing. Just simply type in the word body. B O D. And as you can see, there they are. We got a T body and a body. We want body. We are about to redefine the body tag. Now in the body tag, we could come over here to this button here for background. Up here we have a background color, not this color, the background around it, its color. We click here, make it a different color if you want to. Now since we're redefining the body tag as part of an external CSS, every time we use boxes CSS, that background will indeed be gray, but I want an image. Now we could also do a gradient if you want to right here, but enter file path right there. I'm gonna click the little button here because I don't want to type it in. Go into images, Choose Happy Dale logo and click open. And well, in a sense, there you go. Now we do have options. Number one, you have something called background position. Now watch the images over here because they start in the upper left hand corner, don't they? And come down this way, which is fine. If I change that, so it changes the position of where they begin. Now, typically, I'm probably not going to want to do that, but if you want to, you can. Vertical and horizontal. Let me click here to reset that. You have a size option, which goes to auto, but you can change the size using percentages or pixels or anything you want. I think you know how that works. It'll make it bigger or smaller. It's up to you. You have something called the background clip right here. Now, background clip kind of specifies whether the background begins the border or the padding around the border, or the content of the box element itself, like a div tag. We're not using a div tag, so that wouldn't work. You have a background repeat. Its default is tile it. But if you don't want that, you can go here. You can go here. You can go here with just one. Now, if you only have one, then maybe coming over here and changing things like position might be more interesting to you. Trouble is, it would be behind our website, wouldn't it? Let's go ahead and turn that off again. You have another one called background origin. I'm kind of surprised this one is still here. It doesn't work very well, so we're not even going to worry about that one. Don't use it. Leave it alone, in my opinion. You have a background attachment. Do you want it to scroll or to be fixed? Now, what does that mean? Scrolling will actually move as the site moves up and down. If it's a long page, fixed means the background won't move. Most browsers do support that. So if you want a background behind something and you want it on all your pages and it's part of the body tag, actually you can do that. You can redefine the body tag as part of an external CSS source. 
Now let's go ahead and do this. Let's close what we have and save it. And of course it will ask us to save the CSS and we want to do that too. Remember one thing about backgrounds. Like anything else, they will increase the download time of the page. My philosophy on doing backgrounds, or to be honest with you, just about anything in this program, is if it helps support your message. If it gets the message across, then by all means, figure out a way to use it. If you're just doing it because you can and it looks cool, but it doesn't really help what you're trying to say, then you might want to think twice before you use it.